Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McCray here. Okay, uh, in this video I thought we'd have a little fun. I, um, um, as you guys know, well, maybe some of you don't know, um, but about three weeks ago I purchased a new phone. I upgraded my phone. I went from the Samsung Galaxy S6 to the Galaxy S9 Plus, and it's the best smartphone I've ever owned. It's fucking amazing. I tend to upgrade every three phones because that way you really notice a difference. Like I'm not upgrading every phone or every two phones because sometimes the changes are pretty marginal, right? But I find, at least with my experience, um, if you upgrade every three phones, you really notice that difference. And it's like, wow, this is amazing. But anyways, I, funny enough, for no particular reason, really, I have, I still have all the phones I've ever owned. So I thought I would bust them out and show you guys. Now, you know, I'm 39, so it's not like I was walking around in the 80s with a, you know, Zach Morris cell phone. Um, but, uh, but nonetheless, I got my first cell phone. Um, I could have actually got it in the late nineties. Uh, that was when my dad got his first sort of real cell phone. Um, cell phones became more commonplace in the later nineties, early two thousands in the eighties. And in the early nineties, yeah, people had big, you know, shoebox cell phones, but they weren't, it, it you know, it wasn't commonplace, you know, it's not like everybody had one, right. It was more for business. It was more for corporate. Um, so it was more towards the end of the 90s, beginning of the 2000s, when cell phones really entered the pop culture consciousness. So uh, my first cell phone was probably one of the most popular cell phones of all time. Uh, maybe you guys had it as well. And I remember specifically when I got it, I, I bought it uh, or my mom helped me because I was only 22. And um, it was June of 2001. And it was this guy right here. The Nokia cell phone, ladies and gentlemen. Who doesn't remember that? Come on. Com comment below and let me know who had this cell phone. Everybody had this cell phone. It has got to be. I mean, I'm sure it's been taken over by the iPhone and, you know, the Galaxy phones now. But at one time, there is no doubt this was the most popular cell phone on the planet. This and probably the Motorola uh, phones as well. Um, but everybody had this and it was just your basic phone, you know? And, um, I still remember my cell phone ring. It was like, it was something like that, right? Yeah. I had, and I had this for four and a half years. I had this for four and a half years from June of 2001 until December of 2005. And in December of 2005, I bought this phone. This was a really popular phone as well. This is a Samsung. This was my first introduction to the world of Samsung cell phones. And this guy was great. It was my first flip phone and uh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved this phone. And I had this phone for quite a while too. And, you know, looking back on it, I didn't really text a lot on this phone. Uh, texting wasn't a huge deal back in the early 2000s. Uh, people were still using online um, messaging services like MSN Messenger, ICQ, you know, all that kind of jazz, chat rooms and shit, emails. Um, nobody was really texting per se in the early 2000s. So I didn't text really on that phone. But when I purchased this phone in 2005, texting was really kind of a big thing. It was like, oh, I can text you. Text me. Text me. I'll text you. Yeah, just text me. Just text me. It was like this big thing, right? So um, I, uh, but I can't, and I did. I text a lot on this phone. How the hell did we do it? How the hell did we text? I mean, we're so, you know, spoiled with these smartphones now where you just, you know, two thumbs and you're just texting and it's got the keyboard and everything and, and, um, I don't know how we did it because it was like an actual phone pad. Like you had to like, okay, three, two, uh, and it's, ah, uh, oh, shit. Okay, what, that's delete there. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And um, yeah, so I had this phone and I took some pictures on this phone as well. And if you watch a lot of movies from the mid 2000s, they have phones like this. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, take my picture. Anyway, so I had this from uh, December of 2005 
until January of 2009 when I entered the world of the Blackberry. Yes, and this was a hugely popular Blackberry. And I entered this world, this was my first introduction into the world of smartphones, right? Because this, for all intents and purposes, was a smartphone. You could uh, go on Facebook on here, you could, uh, you know, um, go online, of course, check your email, send text messages, take photos, all that kind of jazz. So, and this was a really popular Blackberry and Blackberries were still really popular in 2009. And um, I loved this phone. I loved the QWERTY keyboard, you know, where you actually feel the buttons. It was great. And I remember just doing this and, oh, I could, I was like the king of one-handed text messages. It was like, you hear that? Don't you miss that sound? It was great. I loved it. Um, but I didn't have this for too long. I had this from January of 2009 until uh, January of 2011. And, the, and then I went from, I don't know why I upgraded. I think at that time, the smartphones that we know today were really entering the pop culture consciousness. And the BlackBerry was kind of being ushered out into, not completely out like it is now, but um, more into the business corporate world. And uh, I wasn't really in the business corporate world, I was in the entertainment industry. So, I mean, I kind of wanted something a little more cool or whatever the case was, right? So, um, so I had this for two years though, and this was fantastic. But in January, 2011, I walked into uh, a Rogers store here in uh, Toronto. And um, it was a video store at the time, Rogers Video, which no longer exists, but you could go and rent movies, but they also did their cell phones, right? Cause it's a telecommunications company here in Canada. And um, so what I did was I went in with actually the purpose of getting the latest um, iPhone, which at the time I think was the iPhone 3 or something like that. And I was, that was, I was looking at the iPhones and then this other phone caught my interest. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Like I love the screen and it was really nice. And it was the same kind of thing um, as the iPhone. It was a smartphone, but it was by Samsung. And it, for all intents and purposes, is the Samsung Galaxy S1. But in Canada, it, I don't know what it was released under in other parts of the world, but here in Canada, it was released under the Samsung Captivate. And this is the phone here. This is, see, look at that. On the back there, it says the Galaxy S. That's just like the S1. That's their first Galaxy phone the Galaxy S, and it was known as the Captivate here. I don't know why, I guess it's supposed to captivate me. Oh, I'm so captivated by the Captivate. <laughs> anyway, um, but I just busted, like before I did this video, I went into my um, closet under my basement stairs to bust these phones out because they're in a big tin. And I took this out, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so small. Like for a smartphone, I'm like, this is tiny. I don't even remember like, it's actually quite small. It's smaller than I remember because now, you know, the smartphones are getting bigger. Like, they're almost mini tablets now, and we'll get to that in a minute. So, um, anyway, I love this phone. And I had this phone from January, but I didn't have this phone nearly as long as I thought I was going to. It's actually, funny enough, um, one of my phones that I had the least, uh, oh, sorry, the least longest if I could say that. Um, I had this from January 2011 until November 2012. So not even two years, like a year and three quarters. Um, almost two years, but not quite. And uh, I went from this and I upgraded to the Galaxy S3. And by that time in November 2012, this was like really popular. And the Galaxy phones were really beginning to rival the iPhones, right? It was like, oh, do you want, you know, this was sort of like Android versus Apple. And if you were, you know, going to go with Android, you went with the Galaxy S3, essentially. And uh, I had the purple the purple one. And uh, I love this phone. Absolutely loved it. And I had this from November of 2012 until July of 2015 when I upgraded to the Galaxy S6. And uh, I, th this is the phone that I just upgraded from a few weeks ago. So the early videos that you guys watched on my channel about Halloween, like back last fall at the beginning of this year, all shot on this phone, all shot on this phone. 
Um, and I had this for basically almost three years. I love this phone. The, the Galaxy S6 was a, is, is a good phone. It's still a good phone. It's still a good phone. So, you know, I thought, well, I went from the one to the three to the six. And I thought, well, yeah, I want to now upgrade to the nine because I'm really going to notice a difference. And nine's my favorite number. It's my lucky number. And I thought, I got to have the nine. So just recently, a few weeks ago, I upgraded to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Excuse the fingerprints there. I got to clean the screen. But that's uh, that's the Galaxy S9 Plus. And this is, without a doubt, the best smartphone I've ever owned. Now, it's quite large in comparison to the original Galaxy S1. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing, um, but uh, yeah, I love this phone and um, it's just awesome. Like if you guys have the S9, comment below and let me know. If you have the S8 Plus, then you know what I'm talking about because the S8 Plus is very similar. Um, they're great phone. I think there's an S8 Plus, right? Maybe there's not. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, this is the best smartphone I've ever owned. So I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, those are all my smartphones. I have every smartphone I've ever owned. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to know if you guys still have all your old cell phones. I'd love to know that. You know, I could have had a cell phone in the late 90s um, because I remember it was an option for me uh, right around the time I was going to college. And I was kind of like, you know, well, I don't really need a cell phone. I mean, you know, I got a phone in my dorm room. You know, what do I need a cell phone for, right? I mean, it's not really a big deal. And certain students had them, like the odd student would have one, you know, where's John? He's got the cell phone. He can make the call. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but it wasn't a big deal then. It really wasn't a big deal that, you know, then. But now in retrospect, I look back and I'm kind of like, oh, I would have loved to have had a cell phone from the late 90s that, you know, is a bit older than that one, right? Um, even though those were around in the late 90s too, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure what year those came out, but they were definitely like late 90s, early 2000s. So even then it might have been that phone. But anyway, yeah, comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McCray. McCray is M-C-R-A-E, facebook.com slash many things Dave McCray. That's where you can follow me in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting here. That's where I tend to post as well. If you want to help support the channel each and every month via Patreon, you can. The link is in the description. Um, I will be back soon with another video. Uh, we're geared up for Comic-Con this weekend. What's going to drop with Halloween 2018? I definitely will be keeping my eye on what's going on. Sorry about that. Um, and I will uh, definitely do some, some videos <laughs> for you guys, um, depending on what they drop, if I feel it's news worthy. And it probably will be. I mean, this is a big event where they're going to show some things. So, uh, yeah, I will keep you posted. In the meantime, I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Hello? Oh, hi, how are you? Yes, 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 I'm on the uh, uh, Nakia phone. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you outside then. Bye-bye. Cheers.